Hello. Welcome to Oregon Trail. I know it says Oregon Trail up at the top of the broadcast window thingy, but that's because it uh, that's because it won't let me put in Oregon Trail since that game isn't recognized by the database. This game was uh, recommended by Just Drop, who is currently in the chat room. Wait, Duke, how did you get your background picture to be widescreen? Um, I don't know. I just uploaded a a picture and it just kind of naturally did that. Let me type my secret passphrase into the chat room. Um, I was raised by a cup of coffee. For anyone uh, wondering what that means, that's my secret phrase. How I uh, how I sync up the chat in the video in the YouTube video later. Uh, lots of people in the chat room already. Welcome, Exergia, Just Drop, NAR Password, Poison for the Fairies, and SS Skinner. Cool. We have a, uh, a full crew already, so uh, I will go on ahead and travel the road. Oh, and welcome, Gear Strike. I was going to wait until there was there were enough people in the chat room to uh, to let the chat members be my my crew in the station wagon, uh, but there's enough here already. So uh, if you ever played Oregon Trail, the old Apple II game, or multi-platform game if you play the ROM versions, um, this is basically opposite of how the different roles worked in that one. In Oregon Trail, the banker was the easiest one because you started out with the most money, and uh, then the middle one was a... Uh, I forget what the middle one was, but the 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 hard version is the farmer who starts out with the least amount of money. In this one, the lawyer is the hardest because it's not about money, it's about resources and uh, ability to, to scavenge for resources. And in this game, the cop is actually the best one, or, uh, yeah, the best one to pick if you want an easy game. Um, I was pretty good at Oregon Trail. Uh, the Apple II copy that I had was... Uh, it was previously owned by a school teacher. I had an Apple IIc, and I managed to uh, to beat out the the high score list on that one and get the the number one place. Um, the strategies in this game don't necessarily completely line up with the strategies in Oregon Trail, but there are many similarities. Um, as you can see, the look of the game is just spot on. Welcome to the chat room, Three Jack Burton. Thanks for making it. Yay, being old. Yes, I'm an old man. I actually played Oregon Trail, n not when it was new, but back when it was still being used on Apple IIs in actual schools. I can't stop looking at Oregon Trail. Yes, uh, this is the uh, the side story. Um, I will go on ahead and be a lawyer because I like a challenging game. And we have the crew standing outside the station wagon there. Um, obviously, the leader is me, Duke. First one in the chat room was Ex Exergia. And then Just Drop. And then uh, I think SS Skinner was next. Sam. And uh, uh, I don't remember who was after her. I think it was NAR password. If it was someone else, I apologize. Oh, there's not enough room. Okay, you're out. Uh, let's go with Gear Strike. Oh, Gear Strike. Gear Strike. Okay. No. Damn it, I just can't. I can't have that happen. Uh, Lord Tamar. There we go. Okay. That satisfies my, uh, my OCD nature. Welcome to the chat room. Oh, crap. I forgot the sound on this is going to be super loud. Hold on. There we go. That should be better. Uh, who's, oh, uh, Haley is a Cylon. Coup Impact. Coup Impact. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the chat room. I haven't really figured out the, uh, the best time to leave. In the Oregon Trail, it was based on, uh, you basically want to get from Missouri to Oregon before winter or else you're kind of screwed. Um, I guess I could ask for advice and see what they say. Is, is the sound okay? It still sounds a little loud in my headphones. Welcome to the chat room, 32-bit. 
Uh, okay, just read some scribbles on the walls. The dead move at night. Savor to travel during the day. It's best to rest during the night and be on your guard. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, <coughs> it's probably best to leave at about uh, 8 a.m., I'd say. You have the most time to, uh, to cover some ground before the zombies really start coming out. They're saying the sound's fine. Okay, good. Welcome to the chat room, JZ. Leaving it. Just Drop says leaving at 4 a.m. is okay. Um, and he's the one who leads me to this, so I will take his word for it. The city is lost. The government has issued a warning to all survivors. Washington, D.C. will be wiped out with a nuclear strike. You have a limited number of hours to gather supplies. In Oregon Trail, you basically stocked up on supplies at the local store before you left. But in this, it uh, gives you a certain number of hours to... Uh, basically devote to finding different resources. Welcome to the chat room, Tie-Dye Tundra. Thanks for making it. Oh, a cute RE4 reference. Uh, I didn't catch that. He's, uh, he's like the what are you buying guy, I think. I never actually played uh, RE4. Just Drop says bullets and gas are key, and uh, in Oregon Trail, you had Oxen pulling a, uh, pulling a covered wagon. Um, and in this, the Oxen are replaced by gas. Uh, ammunition, <clears throat> in Oregon Trail, I always kind of had a tendency to buy way more ammo than I needed, um, and I ended up kind of depleting my, uh, my resources early on. Bosses of 20 bullets, you can grab 10 bosses in an hour, so that's 200 an hour. I'm going to spend two hours scavenging. 400 bullets should really be plenty of this, because the, uh, the quote-unquote hunting mechanic is is different than Oregon Trail. The shotgun actually takes a few minutes to reload. If you make it, you'll be out of most of your ammo, and you'll have to trade for gas along the way as a lawyer. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm I'm used to playing the hardest difficulty level in Oregon Trail, so I should be able to. Uh, I mean, I, I I always have to end up stopping and trade trading for stuff. Uh, that's just the way it always went. Welcome to the chat room, Crito One. Travel for four hours on a tank of gas. I recommend at least 24 tanks of gas. You can grab eight tanks an hour. Okay. Well, the shopkeeper is usually he usually gives pretty good advice, so I will go with his advice and get uh, three tanks of gas for 24 gallons. Um, food. You can always stop and scavenge for food along the way. Um, so this isn't really as key as some of the other resources, and also, in my, I haven't actually played this game, but I watched somebody play it, and uh, it seems to be easier to find food than it was in, in Oregon Trail. Uh, recommend you at least 200 ounces per person. You'll need canned peas, ramen, jerky, and coffee. You have 125 ounces of food an hour. Okay, so let's see, that's a thousand ounces that he's recommending. So... Hmm. Let's see, how many hours do I have left? Eight hours left, okay. I will spend four hours scavenging for that. Oh, I don't have... Oh, okay, the eight's my total. Hmm. Alright, well, I will, uh... Damn. I used more time already than I, than I realized. Welcome to the chat room, CMA6 Math. Uh, okay, well I will use my remaining time on food then. Medical hits, spare parts, and money aren't as important. Uh, you can always trade for those on the road. Um, damn, I didn't realize I would be so limited. I might actually go with less food. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go two hours for food. That leaves me with one hour. And I will get two mufflers, since, in my experience, those are the most likely to go bad. And if your muffler goes bad, then your car is so loud that it's going to attract zombies from all over the place. So you really don't want that to happen. So I will spend one hour on mufflers. Okay. Alright. Uh, this is going to be difficult, but I think we can make this journey. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. That's exactly what they say in Oregon Trail. You must be related to that dude. 230 miles to Pittsburgh. Alright. And if you're familiar at all with Oregon Trail, which I realize some of you from 
across the pond might not be. Um, basically, it's turn-based. Uh, you can hit enter at any time to enter basically your camp menu, and uh, it stops between turns. You can see all my party members and their current health status. Um, you can see what supplies you currently have. Actually, I probably went overboard with the bullets here too. I mean, even 400s probably going to be too many. Whoever made this did a great job of setting this up like the original. Yeah, I mean, it looks and feels exactly like an Apple II game, and they really tried as much as possible to make it as balanced as uh, as balanced as the original. Uh, here's our map. As you can see, it's not a straight shot from DC to Oregon, since we have a large, deadly area that we kind of have to circle around. Um, and change pace, pace and food rations. Uh, the pace is going to determine the health of your party. Basically, if you go to a grueling pace, your party is more likely to succumb to illness. Steady, 30 miles per hour, strenuous, 45, grueling, 60. Um, I usually go at a grueling pace, just because my party can suck it up. Corner bullets goes a lot quicker than you think. Yeah, that that's true. But uh, also, you don't really use as much ammo in this game as you do in Oregon Trail, since sometimes you can scavenge for food without even having to shoot any zombies if you can dodge around them quickly. We'll go to the chat room, Macaq 2. Uh, for rations, I'll go meager. That should be good enough. If my party's health starts dipping, then I will make uh, make changes as necessary. Uh, you can use med kits on party members, which I don't have any of those at the moment. I'll probably trade for some later. You can kill a party member if they succumb to zombism. And that's probably the biggest change between this and and Oregon Trail. Welcome to the chat, Rob Father. Um, I haven't actually I haven't completely figured out how that mechanic works. Um, if your party member gets incapacitated with the G virus, then the uh, it's likely that they'll spread it to the other party members. Um, but I haven't figured out exactly what the... Basically, you want to push it as long as you can. Because if you can make it to the end without killing your party member, even if they're incapacitated, you still get points for them. Just Drop says you don't need to kill them, though. So, it's possible that's not even necessary. Um, I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, zombie activity is medium. And you can see our fuel... And now that I've changed the pace to grueling, the car goes a lot quicker in a single turn than it did previously. And we've reached our first landmark, Pittsburgh. Not too many zombies here. Still a pretty beat up place. Uh, at the landmarks, you can... Basically, you can do everything you can in camp, but you can also talk to survivors in the area. Welcome to the chat room, veteran. Let's see what they have to say. If you stop to rest, you can usually overcome any sickness. Having medkits or being in the city usually makes you heal up a little faster. Yes, I did know that, but thank you. Seem to get more active at night. I usually sleep about six hours a night to make sure we don't get attacked on the road. Driving around makes a lot of noise and attracts our attention. And just various pieces of advice. Too bad Chicago is new. Yeah, unfortunately. That would have been a, a good stop off. From 11 p.m. to like 4 a.m. it'll be heavy, 4 to 11 is speed. I've seen you before, haven't I, veteran? Your name sounds familiar. Oh, and we've reached our first zombie crossing. This is analogous to the river crossing in Oregon Trail. And it's not really as straightforward as, uh, as the zombie crossing in Oregon Trail. Um, we have a small horde size, and they are alert. I can attempt to sneak through, I can break out weapons and clear the path, or I can hire mercenaries to escort me across, or I can wait around to see if the horde disperses. Uh, basically, every time I've, or every time the person I was watching, it was more Draconis who was playing, um, and kind of a bunch of friends were gathered around, and we were all in the party seeing how it would go. Um, and he, he survived, but he was the only one to make it. Um, waiting to see if the horde disperses is usually a bad idea. Um, I've never seen the situation improve when you wait. I'm just going to break out weapons and clear the path. Now, I don't know how much ammo this actually uses, if it uses any, so it'll be an interesting experiment. I mean, I assume it uses ammo.
fought my way through the horde without incident. Alright, let's check my, uh, check my situation and see if that actually use, uses ammo or not. Check engine light is on. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, good. It doesn't actually use ammo to do that, so it's no different than fording the river in Oregon Trail, really. It's exactly how a shotgun sounds. I agree. The, uh, the sound work in this game is just phenomenal. Oh, you had to leave early on the on the Binding of Icy Fly stream. That's right. Uh, this game will probably take about an hour, so after that I thought I would fire up Binding of Icy and play through a quick game of that. Um, let's see, I should probably op SS Skinner, since I don't currently have any ops in the chat room. I don't know if this actually works since I'm using XChat and the IRC client, but I, you should be opt now, hopefully. So if I've never played Oregon Trail before, which version would I recommend? Yeah, f find the Apple II version. If you go to virtualapple2.org, you can play a shitload of old Apple II software just right in the browser. Um, with Chrome and Firefox, there's a plugin you can download that's just really quick and simple, and uh, th that's the best version to play. All the versions after that, the Apple II version, uh, I mean, they added more features, but uh, they just don't have the same... Uh, uh, the site is virtualapple2.org, I believe. I think that's correct. Alright, that's enough dicking around here. Let's, uh, let's continue on the road. I hope that check engine light doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Oops, I had to type that in the chat room instead of in the, in the game. I'm dumb. Left to die. That logo looks somewhat familiar. Uh, let's see if the people have anything else to say here. Keep moving, but at a fair pace. Can't keep driving too fast or you'll end up with a broken down car. Without a car, you're as good as dead. Yeah, that, that's another thing. At ruling pace, um, you're more likely to, uh, to have problems with your car. Um, but, to me, it's worth the risk, because the faster you go, the less likely you are, basically the more, the less turns you have, and the less turns you have, the less likely something's going to go wrong. 142 miles to Indianapolis. Indianapolis. As a gravestone, would you like to take a closer look? Hmm, what could this possibly say? Oh shit! It's the Left 4 Dead hand. Oh! <laughs> I have to actually hit space there to shoot the zombie. That's cute. Welcome to the chat room, Perigo? Yeah, in the, uh, in the Apple II game, or in Oregon Trail, Players can leave gravestones when they die, so uh, there were a bunch of gravestones in the copy that I had because it was previously uh, it was previously owned by a school teacher. Why are you immune to damage? Uh, your your party leader doesn't start taking damage until all of your other party members are dead, I believe. Um, but anyway, uh, I came across that tombstone in the copy that I had, and uh, I thought that one of the previous players, one of the students, left that there. But apparently the pepperoni and cheese thing is in every version of Oregon Trail. Because it's, uh... Because in every video I've ever seen of it, you know, that tombstone is already there. Which is interesting. Interesting that the... I mean, apparently the people who made the game put it in there. You also take damage during hunting. Yeah, that too. And we'll see hunting in a little bit when I start running out of food. Hunting is kind of a misnomer. It, it's scavenging and defending yourself from zombies. The only water you can find is sludge from a runoff drain. Ew. My, uh, my health is definitely taking a... Ooh, wild fruit. My health is definitely taking a turn for the worse. Um, when, when Moores was playing, it, I think he was the middle one, the clerk, and it, his party's health didn't seem to deteriorate nearly as quickly as that one, or as my my party's health is deteriorating. Uh, I want to stop and rest. It's 9pm, 
uh, and zombies are going to come out pretty soon. So I'm going to rest for, let's see, seven hours should be good. Oops. That'll take me through the night to 4 a.m., and my party will uh, start regaining a little bit of health. Yeah, if you want to play this game, it's hatsproductions.com, and then you can click on Oregon Trail, or you can go to hatsproductions.com slash oregontrail.html. Oh, I guess I am going to Chicago. Interesting. I thought that would have been nuked as well. And party's out of food. Oops, something about fog, but that's probably not important. Let's look at the map real quick. Oh, I guess Chicago is just outside the uh, the danger zone. And more Draconis, welcome. He was the one who uh, who played this game, and uh, it was him, uh, me, our aunt and uncle, and then our aunt and uncle's cat, Remus, were the were the party, and he was the only one to survive. All right, so I'm going to scavenge for some food. Um, you can use WASD, or you can just use the arrow keys. And they're currently taking bets in the chat room to see who the first one to get bitten is. Just Drop puts ten dollars on himself. Scavenging is pretty abstract in this game. Basically, you just wander around until either a can of food or a buggy full of food pops up, and you have to kill zombies along the way. It seems like you walk a lot more slowly in this game than you do in, in, or in Oregon Trail, too. I want to constantly say one when I mean the other. Welcome to the chat room, Awesomenism. And I found 335 ounces of food, but I can only carry 200 ounces back. Which is, what, like 15 pounds? That's kind of embarrassing. I would hope I would be able to carry more than 15 pounds of food. But don't I have a backpack or something? Uh, let's do one more. Just to last me a little a little while. Oh, bye more Draconis. Thanks for popping in for a second. See, he's Mortis Draconis everywhere else, but here he's Mortis Draconis. And I'm not really up on my Latin, so I'm not sure what the grammatical difference is. Just imagine you're a hipster law student. Maybe you don't have a backpack and food is awkward to carry. Well, I mean, I would imagine a backpack would be that difficult to find. I'm pressing my luck by weaving around the zombies here instead of shooting, but, uh, yeah, it was... Hunting was almost over. Even though we picked up a shopping cart. Yeah, I should just load up the shopping cart and friggin' wheel that back to the car. I put hundreds of pounds of food in that. Oh well. Welcome back to the chat room, 3 Jack Burton. If I welcome you back incorrectly, then I apologize. The, uh, the chat client doesn't always deal with, uh, deal with uh, joins and departure as well. Used to be like 100 pounds that you can carry an Oregon, an Oregon Trail. Uh, actually, I think you could only carry like 100 pounds in, in Oregon Trail. I believe. Well, one or 200 pounds. You can shoot thousands of pounds of food if you get a buffalo, but I think you can only... Yeah, 200 in the old, old version. Uh, see if people have anything else to say. The only hope is to make it to Safe Haven, which is in, in Oregon. See, this is what led me to believe that, uh, that you have to kill your own... Well, actually, there's something else one of the people in town says. Well, in town. It's a pretty grim game. <laughs> Bless me. Why do people in this game still talk like 19th century prospectors? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm not sure about this music either. It's kind of cool at first, but it gets kind of repetitive after you listen to it repeatedly for an hour. 
10 bucks on someone getting injured or sick before the next town. Well, gee, thanks. Whose side are you on, Just Drop? I mean, since you like the zombies so much, maybe you should join them. Oh, look. Thanks for the jinx. Sorry, Excursion. Noon. Health is still fair. I'll stop and rest again here in a few hours. Uh, yeah, I should probably rest now before I surge it bites it. Uh, let's go... Let's talk a little bit more. Oh, they require extra food to keep them alive, which is... <laughs> pa. <laughs> Who actually talks like that in 1970s America? Okay, just drops telling me to rest, so I will do that. Well, see, if I rest now, I might as well rest for like 14 hours, because... Well, okay. I'll rest for a couple hours just to get Exergia back up, and then around 11, I'll stop to rest again to sleep through the night. So let's go two and see how much that helps. Make it to a town, you'll get better rest there better rest than just a remote shack, like it actually matters what the landmark is. 29 hours of food at this rate. Oh, thanks to CMA6 Math for doing the math for me. Living up to his name. 260 miles to St. Louis. Alright, hopefully Exergia can make it until St. Louis. Hang in there, buddy. I mean, I know you have a broken leg, but you pretty much just have to sit around in the car, so you should be able to make it. Yeah, well, what's with these people having to eat every single hour? Oh, look at that, just barely hanging on by a thread. And it's 9pm, so let's, uh, let's do another 7 hours, I'd say. I should have enough food to last me. Zombie activity high, but I am safely in the confines of St. Louis. Uh, let's go one more hour just to get Exergia up a little bit more. Is this game free? Yes! Go to uh, hatsproductions.com and you can play it there. There's actually a Kickstarter for this game, but I didn't learn about this well until the other day when I just dropped Link into it. Welcome to the chat room, Reptile Blades. And we're making pretty good time. We've already traveled 1,700 miles. Sergio wandered off and you couldn't find them. Ah, <sighs> just like you, Sergio. <laughs> yeah, I get... Whoa. Oh, I couldn't find him at all. I thought we had to go looking for him and it slowed us down, but apparently we're just assuming he's dead. Sorry, Sergio. <sighs> so, who had Exergia in the pool? Because you're owed money. Well, on the plus side, at least now we won't have your crippled ass slowing us down. Why would anyone wander off on their own? Good question. Um, watch The Walking Dead. And they, uh, they may provide some possible reasons. For example, because people are dumb. Heavy ash covers the windshield? Wow. Speaking of Walking Dead, I really want to play the Telltale game that just came out. Um, I ordered my new power supply for my computer, and uh, it should be here in, uh, in just a couple of days. Welcome to the chat room, Fabian Dog. Hey, are you going to do some more Oregon Trail? Not tonight. Um, I might do another playthrough later. Um, I figure I'll do one playthrough of this and then I'll fire up Binding of Isaac. But I'm, I might do this again some other time. It depends on how well I do tonight. Just Drop Played. The Walking Dead game is more like a point and click with button mashing. Well, I like point and click adventure games and I sometimes like button mashing. Um, 
You know what, let's just continue. There's nothing I want to do here. Oh, another zombie crossing. Excellent. Uh, small horde size and they are agitated. Well, I think I should be able to bring out the weapons and make it through again. Hopefully, since it's a small horde. Welcome to the chat room, Pokesmot420. The story of the first episode will affect every episode after. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm really curious about is how they do the uh, the storyline across multiple games. Because I hear that the dialogue and the uh, the characters char characterization and everything is really well done in that game. All right, let's bring out the weapons. Uh, larger group than last time. You know, the little guys in the car kind of look like uh, Ness from Earthbound almost. Sort of. As, you know, as much as a crude pixelized face can look like another crude pixelized face. Alright, no incident. Awesome. Pretty good luck with the, uh, the, the fording so far. Welcome to the chat room. Football Forever and Lakitu DB. Working down cars, bought the road, navigating the debris takes an hour. Man, lots of people in the chat room I haven't seen before. Welcome. Thank you. You can also come across random, uh, like you can find a car on the road randomly that has supplies in it, or you can... I did find wild fruit. That's the one. Snowstorm! Holy hell. That's kind of unusual. Hey, is that a white castle? A fuel can went missing. Oh, shit. <sighs> That's gonna be bad later on. Alright. Let's stop and rest at the White Castle. Oh, it's a prison. Okay. If this was Oregon Trail, this would be where I would have to flip the disc. Welcome to the chat room, Kermudian. Glad you can make it. This is a lot different than what I remember from third grade computers class. That's because this is the original version. The 1970s uh, edutainment title. A lot of people didn't play this one. Alright, um... 4 p.m. Health is poor. Uh... God, do I want to try to make it to the next landmark? Because I only have... 7 hours before I want to rest again. Okay, I say I'll rest for uh, like about 3 hours, and then I will continue on my way. And hopefully I won't get rushed by zombies. Welcome to the chat room, Private Steve. I won't, especially if someone gets injured, they'll die. Okay, well, maybe I should just rest through the night. That's a lot of food to, to use. I can always scavenge for more food, though. Okay, you tossed me into it. I'll go... 9... I wonder if I have enough food to make it nine hours. Let's see. Check supplies. Alright, so ten ounces an hour. I have forty-four. So I can rest four hours before I have to scavenge for more food. So let's uh let's rest for four hours and then I will spend a few hours scavenging. Actually it's eight ounces instead of uh instead of ten ounces because Exergia wandered off. Hope you're doing okay wherever you are. I'm sure you're not. All right. Uh. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't scavenge here. I have to actually leave. Leave the prison first. <laughs> no one in the chat knows how to spell Oregon, and that is why people are confused. Yes. Um. O r g a n is a different word than o r e g o n. They also might be confused because it says that I'm playing Oregon Trail in the uh, in the description because the site doesn't have uh, the site doesn't have Oregon Trail. Why is Reptile Blades talking with like a snake hiss? Is that your gimmick? Is that your thing? Hope you don't do that in real life. All right, let's scavenge. The one nice thing is that the zombies never get more difficult than the typical slow-moving ones you've already seen. I, I was worried that later on there would be like fast zombies, but uh, these are pretty much all you have to deal with. He is RPing as a creeper. Is that a Minecraft thing? That's, that's those green zombie-looking things in Minecraft, right? 
Actually, these things kind of look like creepers, too. Alright, 200 ounces. Good job. Let's uh, scavenge one more time. Welcome, Cronham. My experience with Minecraft is I played it obsessively for like eight hours straight and then I kind of never wanted to play again. That's how I am with all those games where you don't really have a goal like Minecraft and The Sims and, and Animal Crossing. Like I play them obsessively for way too long and then I kind of get sick of them and never want to play again. I mean, the technology behind Minecraft is really cool. The randomly generated worlds and, uh... Huh. Since I'm hunting at, uh, at 1am, I would think there would have been more zombies, but it didn't really seem that harder than hunting at other times. Welcome to the chat room. Rob is business card and the Lola Ruse. Glad you can make it. Full chat room tonight. Wow. 27 people, including me. So, 27 minus 1. Hold on, let me get my calculator out. Let's see. Oh, that's 26. Wow. That's a lot of chatters. Terraria has much more to it. Yeah, that's what I hear. I hear Terraria is cool. Losing that fuel really screwed me. I'm definitely going to have to stop and trade at some point before I get to Oregon. Oh, cool, the hospital. Maybe I can uh, get some medical attention. No, just the same old options. Oh well. No, I'm surprised nobody's gotten zombism by this point. Do I think I can amnesia the dark decent live stream? No. Never played that game. Uh, okay. How far have I gone, anyway? Uh, coming up on the halfway point. Terraria got too boring. Well, Terraria, unlike Minecraft, like, from what I understand, it has actual, like, goals. Like, things that you have to achieve. Well, I mean, Minecraft, Minecraft has that stuff, too, but it's... Oh, that's not too bad. But in Minecraft, you know, you pretty much have to use the wiki if you want to actually find any of that shit. 78 ounces of food! A fire in my station wagon! How the hell did a fire break out in a station wagon? This was probably back... I mean, this was back in the 70s when they, uh... They used kerosene soaked vinyl for the car seats and lead based paint and all sorts of nasty things. Party is not doing too well. Let's uh, stop and rest for just a few hours. I say let's go uh, four and then I'll continue on for a few more hours. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, Mixes Pitlick246, welcome. Welcome to the chat room. That is my real life actual brother, IRL. Glad you can make it to a stream. Terror split my van thing on fire. Wow, 600 miles. Pretty good clip. I think I can make it though. I have a hearty party. Welcome to the chat room, Flood Omega and Sore Thumb. It's cool, mixes Pitlick. Uh, I figure you've just been working. This is a fun game. Yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, it is a very authentic uh, approximation of one of my favorite games from childhood. Welcome to the game, Pariah with the four. Did I say welcome to the game? I meant welcome to the chat room. Health poor. Uh, let's let's stop and uh, and assess this situation. Uh, 
1 a.m. Yeah. Actually, I probably should have rested anyway since I'm in high zombie activity time. Let's go about... 5 hours and continue on my way. Welcome to the chat room, Usunoro and Taylor65. Welcome to the game, cause we're the zombies. O three O. People using strange cryptic emoticons. I don't understand the language that these kids use. Now that you're kids, I didn't mean to assume that. At the end, I should just shoot everyone for fun. But that will fuck up my score! I mean, the whole reason... Oh, damn. You have dysentery. Do people still get dysentery? I thought that was one of those ones that they wiped out. Can't you get a dysentery vaccine? Oh, fuck! Just drop your spreading it to everyone else! Okay. It is time to rest. Um... How am I doing on food? 53, okay. I will rest for 5 hours, and then I will... Uh, I will try to scavenge. Dysentery is caused by drinking bad water. Oh, okay, good, they're both over. Excellent, okay. Um... Yeah, time to scavenge. Welcome, Oxbow! <laughs> Just drop says he would never catch it because he knows how to purify his. Well, maybe you don't have the uh, the necessary materials to purify your own drinking water. You don't have any uh, any means of boiling it or or adding bleach to it uh, to kill off the uh, the particulates. No buggy this time, which is disappointing. 15 ounces of food. That's barely even worth it. Alright, let's go scavenging again. Just drop says evaporation is the best way. Yeah, I've, uh... I've heard of that method. I like the little piles that the zombies turn into. Ooh, buggy. Ooh, another buggy. Not really any point in me getting that, but... Why not? Hunt more than you need so you can hopefully trade food. Yeah, that's a good strategy. Uh, zombies are getting close. Okay, woo! Alright, now that I have food, let's rest for a few more hours. Just to get, just drop in more tomorrow, back up to snuff since they're recovering from dysentery and everything. SS Skinner is obviously... or me and SS Skinner are obviously the carriers. Now, the party leader always stays healthy until the rest of his party drops dead. Because he hoards all of the supplies for himself, of course. Uh, let's do a few more hours. They're recovering pretty slowly, unfortunately. Alright, let's scavenge a little bit more just so I have uh, a buffer. And by a buffer, I mean some extra food to trade in case of emergencies. So Duke, how was your day? Wow. So refreshing to be asked that by somebody. Um, it was boring. Uh, this is the extremely busy time at work, so I'm pulling 10 hours of overtime a week. I worked 2 hours today. Oh shit. I probably shouldn't have gone after this buggy. That's probably an extremely bad idea. Oof! Well, I was injured, but I got plenty of food. Hopefully not injured too badly. Okay. I think I can get over that. Anything end up happening to that letter I put on my door? No. Um, I assume that the letter prevented the, uh, prevented the city inspector from coming in. But, uh, I read a story online for the local paper, and apparently these inspections are, like, a real thing. And most landlords encourage their tenants not to allow the, the inspectors in because of uh, because of incidents. Well, I don't know. 
I don't know how true any of this is, but apparently there are incidents with the inspectors looking at people's medicine cabinets and, like, looking for drugs when they're not supposed to, when they're just supposed to be inspecting the building, so... Uh, oh, that's that Skinner wasn't here for my last stream. Hold on, let me get a drink real quick, and I will give a quick, uh, quick recap of the situation. BRB. Okay, so basically my landlord put a letter up on my door saying that the city is doing inspections on all rental properties and that uh, blah blah blah, the, the inspectors have been looking for drugs and doing illegal things that they're not supposed to and that he recommended that all of his tenants uh, put the sign up on their door saying, you know, I do not... I don't consent to allowing the inspectors in, which I wasn't really sure if I should do that or not, because even though I'm okay with my apartment, um, I don't have any major problems with it. There might be something that I'm not aware of that the inspectors would find, but on the other hand, I don't really like the idea of people coming in my apartment when I'm not here, and it would have been when I'm, I'm not here because it was at 9 a.m. when I would be at work, so I decided to just put the sign up and, uh, and just not have to worry about it. Um, which I guess worked out okay, I, I assume. I mean, I don't have any way of knowing if they actually came into the house or not. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming the sign, legally, they wouldn't be allowed to do that. Duke, I know this was a while ago, but did you rage on Taz Escape from Mars on the dungeon level? Yeah, that level fucking sucks. I almost hate the castle level more than I hate Mars. Alright, uh, so anyway... Where was I? Oh yeah. Uh, I have enough food now, so I guess I should uh, continue on my way. Just dropping tomorrow, taking the toll of the grueling pace. Oh. Oh no! Just drop is the first zombie victim. Sorry, bro. Yep, that's true. He called it. All right. I don't have any med kits, so I, there's no way for me to keep you alive. I could try to trade for med kits, I suppose. If anyone has any to offer. They want 37 bullets, and they will trade me one tire. See, I've only used 15 bullets of the 400 that I bought, and I'm already well over halfway there. Oh, right, uh, health will regenerate unless they, uh, unless they move to the, the, the advanced stages of the G-Virus. Okay. I think I'll do that, since I have such a surplus of ammo, and a tire might come in handy, so yes, I am willing to trade. Okay. Uh, 4am. Let's rest just a couple hours, and then continue on our way. Okay, so even though he's bitten, he's not in dire peril yet. I need to trade for fuel, too. Good point. I do not have a ton of fuel left. And it's 420 miles to Albuquerque. Another one? Wow. You got a double dose just dropped. You only need like 75 bullets total. Yeah, that, that's what I figured. For I probably... I probably only needed to buy one case. You might be dead now. Uh, I guess I should check on that, huh? Hey, Just Drop, are you dead? No, not yet. <laughs> I. Hate. Sauerkraut! Oh, you're fine, Just Drop. Suck it up. Just don't get bitten by a third zombie. A third time's a charm. I sense more zombie rape for you, just drop. Oh, that's not appropriate. We shouldn't use those kind of metaphors. Well, now that I'm in town, maybe maybe resting will be more effective. Let's try it. 3 p.m. Let's rest for about four hours. Welcome to the chat room, Ackley Man. It's okay, Kermudian. Don't, uh, no worries. Just that 
I know some people don't like that kind of talk. Uh, maybe I should try to trade here. Maybe you have better luck trading if you're in town. I never really tried it. You want a battery, but I don't have a battery. You want 85 ounces of food, you'll trade me one battery. Uh, sure. That might come in handy later. Although I've had surprising luck with my car so far. Wants two fuel. Trade me one muffler. No. Seems to be just the same old crap. One fuel, they will trade me two med kits. That might actually be a decent trade. Even though, well, I only have five fuel left, but four fuel really isn't that much worse than five fuel, and the med kits might really come in handy. In fact, I will go on ahead and use a med kit on just drop, just to try to bring them up. Okay. Alright. I, I might as well just keep trading until I get fuel, because four just is not going to cut it. It wants 30 bullets and they will trade me $94. That's a pretty good trade. I'll take it. Money is power. It wants two med kits. I don't have that. I'm sure someone will have fuel eventually. 52 ounces of, of food. I don't have that. Welcome to the chat room, Java King 2014. Is there any way to de zombify someone? Not as far as I know. I'm pretty sure once you're bitten, you're pretty much screwed. 21 bullets will trade me a med kit. Yeah. Okay. I hope someone will trade me like a million gallons of food for some bullets. That would be the ideal trade for me in this situation. No. One muffler, they'll trade me 71 ounces of food. Eh, I can always scavenge. Although it is using food every time I try to, uh, I try to trade. Yes, yeah, I mean, Sam's right, I can always get more food. Uh, so yes. Well, I guess that wasn't really necessary. One battery, they will trade me $16. No, I'd like to hang on to my battery for now, just in case. He wants one battery, trade me one tire. No, it's kind of a one-to-one -one trade there. 42 ounces of food for a tire, no. I might be here for a while, guys. People don't seem to have a lot of fuel. No. I can buy gas at the shop with the money I've got. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. wonder how much I can buy. Oops. Uh, let's see. $15 per tank. Ooh. So I can buy, like... Uh, what, what is that? Seven... I can't math good. Six. Yeah, there we go. And I have four dollars left to spend. Okay. Well, that should be, uh... That should be enough to get me somewhere. Check the map. Go back to the future, buy a DeLorean. Well, it'll it'll only help me if it's equipped with a Mr. Fusion. Otherwise, I'm really in the same boat. Might be enough to get me to the end. Yeah, just, just drop us right. Alright. Well, let's continue. 350 miles to the next landmark. Weird that they, the only the first couple towns you've run come across has the uh, the little cutscenes with the uh, 43 bullets. Wow, I found just the thing I don't need. Only only the first few towns have the little cutscenes with the uh, you know where it has like a graphic of the area you're in. So if a dude has a zombie virus, then what's the point of keeping them alive? Points! The more people you have alive, the more points you get at the end of the game. And, obviously, points are the only thing that matters. Well, that and Chivos. But I don't think this game has any Chivos. Wow, I want to punch myself in the face for saying that. I use that term ironically. You can say pretty much anything you want, if you just add that you said it ironically. That's a nice thing about, uh... About being a disaffect disaffected gener member of Generation X. Oh, shit! I tried to pop a bullet off before the zombie got to me, but it didn't work. Oh well, I'm still pretty good. Let's try to find some more food. Welcome to the chat room, I can't pronounce your name. In Who's XM. 
Such if you make it to the end with an infected ally, he becomes a zombie and everyone dies, maybe. Well, see, that's what I worry about, but, uh, I don't have any confirmation of that. Just Drop says nope. And I, uh, I trust his word, since he's, since he's the one who told me about this game, and presumably he has a lot of experience with it. Ooh, buggy. I want buggy. Excellent. Now I just have to stay alive. I really... I shouldn't bother being conservative with my ammo at this point, because I have more than enough bullets, even if I kill every single one of these zombies. If I remember correctly, the bullet doesn't travel as far as it does in uh, an Oregon Trail. I think an Oregon Trail goes all the way across the screen. I might be remembering incorrectly, though. Why do I call them bugles? Buggies. That's what we call them here in Hicksville, USA. You might know it better as a shopping cart. Or if you're from across the pond, a trolley. Or if you're from Australia, a flippity jobber. I'm pretty sure that's what they call them in Australia. Since they have crazy names for everything down there. I mean, buggy is damn autocorrect. How are you chatting? I mean, I assume if you have autocorrect, you're using a phone or a tablet or something. Is there an app that... Because I got the Twitch TV app for Android, but uh, it doesn't let you log in, and you can't participate in the chat or, or anything. Whoa! Out of food? Oh. What? That must be a bug or something. I have plenty of food. Hey, it's a gas and gulp. Oh no, it's a desert motel. Sometimes you have to use your imagination with these graphics. Apple Mac has autocorrect, apparently. Huh. I wouldn't know. PC user for life, dog. What time is it? 8 p.m.? I might as well rest in the morning. Give it about 7 hours. I call him Schmitty Werben Jager Mansions. Are you from Australia? In whose XM? Because that's a believable Australian term. Only 360 miles to Las Vegas. See if we encounter any fear and loathing along the way. Reptile Blaze is Australian. And it is. See? You know, when an, when an Australian confirms an Australian stereotype, then it must be true. Damn it, I lost more gas. I might have to stop and trade for fuel again. Don't know if I'll... No, I don't know. A at the pace I'm going, I should be able to make it. Uh-oh. Sam, looks like you're not invincible. You have dysentery. Hate to break it to you. Just drop it, showing symptoms of the green flu. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Uh, let's see. I better cure... I have one med kit left. I better cure... Just drop. I think. I don't know if this will actually work or not. No, he still has the green flu. I didn't know if med kits actually work against that stuff, or if all they affect is the bar. That a euphemism for the zombie virus... I don't know. The last time I was playing... Ooh! Thanks, friendly vultures. The last time I played this, or the last time I watched this played, they referred to it as, uh... as the G-Virus. Well, let's see if I can trade for some medkits. Maybe I can keep Just Drop and Sam alive for a little while longer. Um... What you got? No, that's what I need, Damn it. Oh, I have... I still have a med kit. I thought I'd use my last one. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and use that on Sam. Okay. Hopefully you can recover from your dysentery with that much health. Welcome to the chat room, Purple566 and Chicken Caveman. I have Vegemite once. I didn't like it at first, but after I already ate it, I kind of liked it after that, and I wanted some more. It's kind of like dwarven bread that way. 
Um, alright, well, let's continue on the road. I don't think trading is going to do me much good at this point. I'm pretty close. I'm in the home stretch, definitely. Only one, two, three, two major landmarks and two minor landmarks until I get to, uh, until I get to the safe haven. Welcome to the chat room, Haplocanthosaur. Lots of chat activity. I can't really follow the chat as well as I usually can. Welcome to the chat room, Monkey Man 8. Damn, someone must have plugged me for me to have this many people here. Oh! Sam's better. Awesome. Just Drop says he's going to eat us. Been incapacitated by the green flu. Alright. Came across an abandoned car, but there was nothing to scavenge. Damn it! Alright, Just Drop. Be straight with me. If I don't kill you, are you going to fuck this game up for me? Everyone's telling me to shoot him. Just Drop says nah, but he's one of them. I don't know if I can trust him or not. Welcome to the chat room, Monothu. Don't take the chance. You can shoot me, but it doesn't do anything. Don't shoot him. Can I somehow get Reptile in the game and shoot him? That would be nice. I don't take kindly to people roleplaying in my chat. Alright. Let's keep him alive a little while. Suffering from exhaustion. Okay. Well, that's probably a good idea to rest. But your life bar is red, so I don't know. I don't know if this will be bad or good. Okay. Oh shit! Just drops dead. SS Skinner got the the G virus. Wow, that that wasn't a very successful rest. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. Let's find out. Just drop turned suddenly and bit SS Skinner. You had to kill Just Drop. Oh shit! Damn it, Just Drop. Why would you fuck me like that? Shoot Skinner or it'll happen again. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Alright, sorry, Sam. <sighs> I didn't mean to, Sam. Just Drop seemed very convincing. I couldn't tell if he was... if he was being straight with me or not. <sighs> well, I'm at the mine. How am I doing on supplies? Man, this game took a turn for the depressing. Maybe I shouldn't have used chat room people as my party. Because I didn't know that would happen. Uh, I have enough food. Probably don't have enough fuel, but well, let's rest. Try to get Lord Tamar up a little bit. <laughs> it's more hilarious this way. Well, I'm glad you find the suffering of my dear friends amusing, Pariah. Just drop says my infected people made it as far as I did. Well, maybe I just got unlucky. Check engine light is on? Question mark. Is there a question mark last time? I don't believe so. That's a little... Uh... It's a little troubling. Lord Tomorrow was bitten by a zombie. Oh, and the last one falls. I'll try to keep you alive as long as I can, Tomorrow. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's rest. Just Drop says he can make it. But, but you all saw what happened the last time I listened to Just Drop. <laughs> Zombied outside of my own hometown. Oh, adding insult to injury. Oh, another horde of zombies across. A medium horde size with a restless disposition. I don't know if... I mean, now that I have... I only have two people in my party, maybe... 
it will be tougher to bring out weapons and clear the path. I don't know. Just Rob is saying sneak through. Do I want to trust him? In whose Zixim says sneak? Kermudian says sneak? Okay. The Jack consensus says sneak. That's what I will go for. Restless is less than alert. Okay. Sounds good to me. Quietly drive through without incident. Excellent. Thank you, chat room. 570 miles to the next landmark. I'm putting a big cardboard box over the car. That'll work. Check the map real quick. Okay. So Salt Lake City was the last big landmark. I have one more small landmark. And then safe haven. I need fuel. Yeah, that's probably correct. See how far I can make on what I have. Windy lately. I should have put some of my own music on in the background. This is starting to uh, starting to greet a little bit, but it's almost over. I'm almost at the uh, the mini game, and the music changes for that. What is next after Oregon Trail? I'll probably do a uh, a Binding of Isaac playthrough. Everyone's dehydrated. Okay. Let's. Uh, how much food do I have left? Not much. Alright, let's rest for a little while and then I will try to find some more food. Because I, or not food, fuel. Because I know I'll need some. Damn, that did not help Lord Tamar that much. What time is it, 8pm? I might as well rest until morning at this point. Uh, six hours. Food isn't really an issue, just four ounces an hour. Yeah, that's true. Just you and me, Lord Tamar. Alright. Try to trade, see if I can get some fuel. One tire for one battery, no. No, damn it. Do it the other way. Give me fuel for food. One muffler, trade me one tire. No. No. The, the little landmarks don't have shops, do they? Because if that was the case, I would just try to make it to the little landmark. But I don't think... Well, let's try it just to be... just to be sure. What reptile blades? Spit it out. Just drop says yes. Well, I don't have any money either. But I might have a chance to, uh... Might have a chance to trade for some money and then buy some fuel. What is the skull thing on Lord's health bar for? That means he's been bitten. He's infected. I only have seven ounces of food. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to uh, have to scavenge as well. All right. Well, first, my first priority is fuel. Actually, my first priority should be food because I'm out of food. It's not good. I can't scavenge here either. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. All these tires, batteries, and mufflers have been totally useless to me so far. Try right, using my kit on Lord Tamar. Get him up a little bit. All right, get some food. Get some fuel. No. Man, I got way too many bullets. I thought, I thought I was being conservative, but. I still wasted way too much of my time trying. Oops, wrong one. Trying to, uh, trying to find bullets. Might be able to buy some food. Oh yeah, that's true. I have four dollars. I don't think that's enough to actually buy me anything though. Oh, no, I can. I can buy twenty ounces of food. Cool. See, in Oregon Trail, everything gets more expensive uh, the longer you go. But I think in this one, it stays pretty. Uh, stays pretty constant. I'll need the bullets. <laughs> yeah. 
if I have to kill 300 more zombies between here and, and the safe haven, then I'm in trouble. 49 ounces of food. No, I don't have that. I don't have that at all. Damn it! Where is everybody? Ah, <sighs> come on. Yeah, I know I don't have one fuel. That's what I need. One battery. Trade me two medkits for it. Uh. Yeah, okay. I'm out of food again, though. The final stretch minigame is different. Yeah, I've seen it. Um. It didn't seem that tough. Anyway, at this rate, I might not even get to that point. No. I probably should have done that, but oh well. Just give me some damn fuel. Even in the final stretch minigame, I seriously doubt I'll use 300 bullets. I mean, yeah, there are a lot of zombies, but not that many. No. God, give me some money or something. Jesus. I've been out of food for several turns now. I'm surprised Lord Tamara's health hasn't started dipping for lack of food. Maybe as soon as I start moving, he'll just die from starvation. Since I spent so much time here without food. <sighs> no. You mad, bro? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Okay, that is a good trade. Because I will use that $35 to buy. Uh. Two tanks of fuel. That might be enough to actually get me there. I don't know. Alright, well, it's probably good enough for now. Reptile Blaze is holding his cat. Thanks for sharing. Does your cat's breath smell like cat food? Alright, enter, enter, enter. Yes, I know, enter, enter, enter. Alright, one buggy of food. I mean, that'll be more than enough to get me there, so, uh... So apparently, when you run out of food, you can you can rest as long as well not rest, but you can attempt to trade for it as many times as you want, and you don't have to worry about starvation. So that's good to know. That means you can stay in town and uh, and try to collect enough money to buy whatever you need without worrying about starving. More like tuna, Reptile Blade says. That is not enough food, people. Actually, it might be, now that I only have two party members. Because that's... Four ounces per turn. It's X number of turns. Die, zombie. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Ooh! Shopping bag. But I missed a zombie. Hopefully, this does not turn poorly for me. That should be plenty of food. That's good. You can go home now, Earthbound guy. I said you can go home. You're going grueling pace at meager rations. Well, yeah! How else am I going to make good time? In Oregon Trail, the trade-off of going at a grueling pace is always worth it. Because you have way more opportunities for bad, way fewer opportunities for bad things to happen. You were bitten by another zombie, Lord. I have some med kits, luckily, but I will wait until you are a little more badly off, so I don't, uh, so I don't waste some of it. We got this. Yeah, Monkey Man's right. We're almost there. 
Alright. Let's, uh, get Lord Tamara up to full health. Since, I, I don't know if that actually affects your final score or not, but, uh... No reason not to. Will the leader ever get bitten? Only if everyone else dies, I think. I'm pretty sure nothing can happen to the leader. Well, I mean, you can get bitten in the, uh, the scavenging minigame, I assume. Welcome to Save Haven. I let you in, but our power grid is down for maintenance. You need to power the bridge if you want to get in. There should be an old gas generator and some fuel lying around. Go gather it up and hurry. It looks like there's a horde heading this way. Alright. You can get one can of fuel at a time, and you have to bring each one back to the generator separately. Now, in my experience... I mean, these first couple here are so close to the generator, there's no reason not to get them. Oh, and I have a car full of people to help shoot zombies that get close, which is nice. Now, I have a theory. I think it would be best to get the fuel can at the bottom first. I think it would be easier that way, since you have less less distance you have to cover every time. But, uh... Is that the last one, or is there one more? I'm pretty sure this is the last one. See, now, on each subsequent visit, I'll have less distance to cover, and hopefully I'll have to deal with fewer zombies along the way. That's just my working theory. Like I said, I watched Moors do this minigame, and it did not seem exceedingly difficult. Hey Duke, can you do a Let's Play of Portal 2? No. My computer is good, but it isn't good enough to capture that and allow me to play it. Oops. Play it at a satisfying rate. I'd have to do it in a small, smaller resolution. And I haven't played Portal 2 yet, so... I don't want to, uh... I mean, plus a Let's Play of that kind of game, if I haven't played it yet, wouldn't be very entertaining. Because it would just be me pounding my head against the puzzles. I probably should have kept going there, but, uh... I was... Reptile was lucky SS Skinner doesn't have mod powers. Yeah, I tried to give you mod power, Sam, but I don't think it worked. Sorry. I'll give you mod powers, uh... I want to stop the stream for just a minute to, uh... to change games when I'm done with this, and I will bring up the, the proper chat and give you mod powers then. Oh, that's the bottom. I like this music. More NES than Apple II, but still pretty good. Of course, the, the Apple II had a terrible sound processor, I guess? I don't even know if that's accurate. I don't know if it actually had a sound processor. But, whatever the case, the noises the Apple II produced were not, uh, not pleasant noises. Welcome to the chat room, NetNavi. NetNavi. Have I done VVVVVVV on the stream yet? No, not yet. Uh, that is one I would like to do one of these days. I like that game, but I have not beaten it yet. So as you can see, this really isn't that difficult. You have lots of health, you have lots of party members, the zombies aren't any more difficult than they are in the scavenging minigame, and you have a car full of people to help you, which is nice. I wonder if that actually uses your stockpile of ammunition when they shoot the zombies. Maybe that's why. I think it was just dropped, alluded to, uh, needing ammo later in the game. Maybe less zombies will come if they decided to turn off the rave music. Yeah, everyone knows zombies love rave music. Especially the ones on Ecstasy. What's VVVVVVV? It is a video computertron for your home personal entertainment computer system. Wow, that zombie's just chilling. 
He's like, hey, this music rocks. I just want to hang out. Or is he standing there trying to, like, block my path? It's kind of interesting. If that is the case. Wow. They are... Oh shit. I lost somebody. Okay. Well, that's, that's bogus. I only got hit twice. I like how he gives me all five of my party members, even though I only made it here with two of them. Is it just me, or are the, are the zombies going faster now? Because I could have sworn that uh, that I kind of got screwed there. All right, one more after this. I wonder if losing party mem or losing yeah losing party members here also affects your final score. All right, boys, one more way. By the way, I was firing my gun as fast as I could there. There is a small reload window. So, Wrath of the Lamb, the expanding the expansion for Binding of Isaac, supposedly comes out towards the end of May. Anyone else excited? I know I sure am. I'm going to try to stream it as soon as it comes out. So I have a, uh, a fresh... No, it's a fresh experience. Alright, last one. Final score. Two conscious people. One in captain, uninfected person. One station wagon. You get 50 points for your car not blowing up, 2 spare parts, 293 bullets. Oh, you also get points based on how long it takes you to get there, which is why it's good to go at a grueling pace. 5,400 points. Not bad. I think when Morris played, he, got, he only got like 22,000, 2,500, somewhere around there. But he was a, uh, he was a clerk instead of a, uh, a lawyer. Welcome to the chat room, Putado. Just Drop is telling me to submit it. Well, I have to log into Facebook, so uh, let me stop the stream real quick. I will submit my score, and I will administer mod powers where they are necessary, and I will be back in like a few minutes with Finding of Isaac. Submit to SDA. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, I have, I have a speedrun record for this game, let me tell you. Alright, back in five, guys.